everyone, my name is Alpha. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you're doing well and having such an amazing day. So today we are building in the world of Sulani, which is the world that came with the Island Living expansion pack. And today we're doing a kind of like a like a townhouse, but not really. Um, I'm not sure what to call this yet, but I think I'm going to call this build as a Sulani twin house or twin villas or I don't know um, I haven't decided yet but it's more like that and the main idea of building this was actually I um, I saw this image on Pinterest the other day um, it's actually like a I don't know like an illustration or something like that and I was so inspired by that I saw it long time ago like maybe even a year ago but I only had the chance to sit down and build it just like a couple weeks ago and actually um, I feel like it's it's just so inspiring this type of um, illustration um, like sketch or um, designs have inspired me so much um, from the very beginning time when I just decided to build a lot in The Sims and sometimes it is a hit and miss but most of the time it is such a really good um, source of inspiration for me but um, anyway um, I have kind of like postponed a lot of videos um, lately because I have been so very busy with my life like a lot of things to do with my life um, for the past like two three weeks up until the next three weeks ish i would say um i've been doing business trips a lot and i hadn't had the chance to you know like edit the videos even though i had the time most of the times um i just didn't have the mood because i was so tired and kind of exhausted a bit so um yeah i i just have a lot of my bleed right now and I'm kind of like sort of things out now so hopefully in like two weeks it would be back to as usual as it's supposed to be and um, basically I have at least three builds um, queuing up on my like folder thing um, to be posted but I just don't have the time to sit down and edit them yet um, it will be like this like once in a year so i hope you're okay if i kind of like slow my posting schedule a bit not that much but maybe like maximum two times per week um but yeah anyway i decided to go with less packs on this build because i don't know about you but i feel like my non-restricted packs builds um are kind of i don't know different i would say because it's not i don't know i feel just like i like my restricted packs builds or even base game builds much much more than my non-restricted ones i don't know why but i think it's because it's kind of more focused i would say in certain um styles so i think it kind of i don't know um I can tell the story better and also you get the um, message that I wanted to tell you on the design. Um, I hope that makes sense. But um, anyway, this house is actually it's not a house. It's more like a townhouse sort of townhouse. It's not really a townhouse, but basically like two different buildings in one lot. I've done so many builds like this. I mean like a townhouse type build and um, I just haven't done anything like this in Sulani. Um, I've done some in other worlds like normal worlds like Willow Creek, um, Oasis Springs and those worlds but not um, in Sulani so I decided to build one and I just feel like it's so adorable and I only use a few packs so of course I use Island Living, I use Jungle Adventure, Blooming Rooms, um, Get Together and I think the last one is the cat, what is that cat? Moroccan cat? 
Yeah, I don't really remember the name. It's it's not Oasis Rings. Not Desert Oasis. What is that? I don't know, but the Moroccan cat, I know you know what I mean. And I feel like using those combo is actually really good because they complementing each other really well. Um, I did use some doors from... What is that pack? Oh my god. Oh, the Zert Locks kit, but I decided just to like change those um, doors into the one that's from Island Living because it's lesser packs and I think it's more, um, it's much more accessible for many more players. So I decided to do that. And um, on the first house over here, we have one bedroom. No, not one bedroom, but three bedrooms or two bedrooms i think two bedrooms and two bathrooms i could be wrong but i think that's right and the other house will have like a honeymoon suite so it's only have one bedroom one and a half bathroom situation but um both homes have very similar color tones and yes before you ask um i just want to tell you that yes the flooring is currently from cottage living but i will change it in just a bit into the one from alan living because well i just don't want to use too many packs and this is the first bedroom from the first house and it's a twin bed situation so this whole lot um, will fit up to six sims maximum even though I'm pretty sure you can add more by um, like doing bunk beds or I don't know make those sims sleep in the couch maybe and um, both house has this huge um, bathroom that has a really nice view to the back to the ocean and I think it's just really good to have that even though I don't want that in real life um, because I'll have no privacy and that's the last thing I need when it comes to bathroom even though it looks really cute but just not for me at least in real life and um, both bathrooms the upstairs bathrooms have their um, skylight which i think looks really pretty when it's sunny outside and the first house has um an office space because i wasn't sure what to put on the landing area i thought of doing um, another sitting space but it just doesn't look right so i decided just to put a an office space like a study space and if you don't like that um, you can simply delete the office space and turn it into i don't know like a game room or something or i don't know i don't know but you can do a lot of things there and um the master bedroom on the first house is actually not that big but they have a balcony access i'm pretty sure um, i could be wrong though because i built this like four weeks ago three or at least four weeks ago and i'm just i don't know i'm not sure of anything but i could i can remember the slightest bit but not all of them and um the interior actually didn't take me that long to finish because i don't know maybe it's because i meant this for a rental and when it comes to rental you don't need to add a lot of like stuff like clutter to make it look lively because well um when you rent a house they don't have a lot of clutter in their house so i think that's for the better but uh, i don't know about you but my game is so weird because even though I put this build as a rental on the gallery, it will be tagged as a residential. I'm not sure why, but it's been like that for years since Snowy Escape. So I don't know what is wrong with my game, but um, this could be either a house or rental. It doesn't matter because it's basically the same thing. Um, 
you can stay as long as you want on both lot types and um, this is actually the second house and as I mentioned it's going to be like a honeymoon suit so we have a living space we have a half bathroom downstairs it's only a toilet and a sink and we'll have a kitchen plus like a bar slash dining area um, but the bedroom is actually upstairs and it's not like a full bedroom it's more like a I don't know like a like loft area even though it's not a loft I hope that makes sense but yeah that's basically just it and um I was struggling a lot with the color scheme on the second house because I thought if it's going to be like a like a honeymoon suit it's going to be like red and pink but it's too cheesy for me so i decided just to go on more neutral color because it's not i don't know i felt like it was just too pink like way too pink that's it's not neutral anymore so i decided to change the curtains into this kind of like a pale gray almost white color which i think looks really cute and this is the um, loft bedroom area kind of i'm not sure if this categorized as a loft or not but it's basically like a lofty area and we have a kind of like a walk-in closet situation it's not like a full bathroom with closet experience but i'm just going to call it like that so um so we can pretend that it's different area and um, at this point I hadn't realized that I used a lot of items from get together so I changed the railings and the um, basically the railings from um, both house um, that's actually came from get together into the base game one even though I hated it so much but um, when I was doing the exterior I realized that I need get together to make good like very simple modern looking uh, railings and that's really really changed everything because i just don't like how traditional the fences from uh, alan living because they're just too traditional and we need something a bit more modern more um normal looking i would say and that's why i decided just to use get together and um, we're basically done with the whole interior we're doing the exterior here so the exterior took so long to be done i don't understand why but it's just basically because we have two areas to decorate so the front and the back and also this is a huge lot it's a 40 by 30 it's not that huge it's more like a medium to large size lot but i still feel like it's it's huge and um the color palette on the outside is very very neutral a safe color for me it's like chocolatey brown black and white but i think it looks really modern and kind of not too bland because if i do just like an all white belt it will look so not good in the sims even though it will look nice in real life but not so much in the sims because sometimes some like designs cannot be translated well into the sims and i decided to add this kind of like a shrubs from island living of course that has this little pieces of orangey color which i think looks so cute because it will add some like colors even though it's not that much and also orange and brown or chocolatey brown is still on a like similar spectrum i would say so yeah and um both house has their own decks so we'll have like a fake pool i would say fake pool for each house um and also both house has their own jet ski or aqua zip that's what they call it here in the sims and also the like traditional boat thingy i don't know what to call that but um the fake pools actually are not pools um they're just like an open water that has this kind of like a fencing area um but i would like to have something like this in real life um whenever i just wanted to i don't know like want to go on a vacation and kind of like wind down a bit and um 
Oh, I forgot to mention this, but each house has their own access to the platform, like right from the back, like from the deck area. Because I thought in real life you need a direct access to the platform, so whenever you just done swimming or like canoeing or whatever, um, and you wanted to, you know, like take a shower, you can do it outside without having to you know like wet all of the floors inside and the bigger house the family house has a full bathroom access from um, the deck area and the honeymoon suit has an outdoor shower um, outside and also has a kind of direct access to the half bathroom inside but it's not like a fully direct access so I hope you're okay with that it's just for like the um, realistic purposes that brought to the sims and yeah that's basically it we just have to finishing up the landscaping over here um and we'll be heading on to the screenshots so if you'd like to download this build this is already available on the gallery my id is elfatiera or you can find it under the hashtag blimey sims you can also click the download link on the description box below that will bring you to my ko blog post it'll have two different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the trade files link from sim file share so yeah i think that's it i really hope you find this video inspiring and the build useful to your game and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i have a new video uploaded so yeah i'm going to go now thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me i hope you have the very best day and i'll see you very soon bye Say it.